Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, the content that we're going to talk about tonight for this episode stacks really neatly right on top of the bullet points episode that we did earlier today. If you have not checked that one out, I'm going to link it in the description box below. It's really interesting because all of a sudden, gun owners are invited to the table. That's really interesting. We could have a say in our gun rights and our gun control and everything gun related. It's weird because I know the posturing and the positions hasn't changed from the leftist gun controllers who authored this piece. What could have? It's because the demographics are changing, and in that article, they go down the road of, the Second Amendment is changing, and we need to adapt with it, because they see their voter blocks are adapting the Second Amendment, because we are truly an open book over here. If you fall into any of these categories, you have a friend on this channel. Get in here. This right belongs to everybody. All right. Everything's going to be linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to tell you how the fastest growing group of Second Amendment advocates in this country is African American women. This is interesting, and it's causing the Democrats a little discomfort around what's happening here. I'm going to say a quick read from our sponsor, and then we're going to hit it and hit it hard on the other side. Now, our sponsor, Armed American Supply, is a small, family-run business owned by a retired law enforcement officer and his wife. They design, print, and ship everything in-house from their shop in southern New Jersey. This week, they are running a buy two, get one free sale. If you are the type who loves the quality Second Amendment and blue-collar apparel, this is your chance to grab three for two, and there's a link in the description box below for you to do that. Thank you so much to AAS for making this possible this week, and now let's hit it, because I want to show you this, because this right here, theoretically, according to all the traditional models of politics, should not be happening, but it is. And like I said, get in here. All right. Linked in the description box. Largest rise in gun ownership, African-American women. Now, this is three or four days ago. This is so fascinating because, again, according to existing voter blocks and existing political models, this should not be happening. But it is because everyone has this right, regardless of what you look like. Little piece that's important, at least to this side of the argument. Columbus, Ohio. For the women gathered in Old Town East at the Onyx Gun Club, owning a gun allows them to protect and educate their children while exercising their Second Amendment right. That could not have been written better. That's exactly right. They're protecting themselves, they're educating the next generation, and they're endorsing their Second Amendment right. That is phenomenal. Let's keep it up. i got some more stuff for you here because this is interesting. They are among the fastest growing group of gun owners in the country, according to the National African American Gun Association. And I'm good on them. Get in here. Get more people in here. Cunningham, a range safety officer, Army veteran, and NRA instructor explained, quote, Right now, gun ownership in our community has risen. Probably quadruple the numbers because of all the unfortunate events. That's very astute observation. Hits the important part. He's seen an increase in the number of students for the concealed carry weapons license classes in the last two years. Quote, because we, in our communities, want to protect ourselves and our families. Amen. And what better way than gun training? Amen twice. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what the movement that we are driving forward is all about. Endorse your rights and defend yourself. Don't leave it to somebody else because as you've seen time and time and time again, they will not do it. Check it out. Self-reliance is key. Now, this is one of the women that's quoted in this article. Like I said, the article is linked. It's, a, it's an interesting read. Rosalind, my, me being an entrepreneur, I wanted to protect myself. So I chose to go and get a gun because I'm out late at night. Phenomenal. I wanted to protect myself so that I don't live in fear. I'm living in awareness. And one really big important piece here is everything here is about self-reliance, taking the world, honestly, by the pair, because you are making your own destiny. This is important. You saw a need, you saw an opportunity, and you fixed it with your rights that we do not have worldwide, only in this country. Incredibly important. Specifically at the end of, I'm living in awareness. Now, as for contrast, if you were living in a gun control zone, you would have to wait three to six weeks in some cases, even for the ability to potentially convince someone that you could carry a gun for your own protection. In New York, you have to prove there's a case, and then they still say no. It's at the Supreme Court right now. This is not just small incidents. This is nationwide. Really important. So as a means to me being an example of my teenage girls, I love this. And for any other young person in my family that also may be an entrepreneur, a business owner, or somebody who's out late and wants to protect themselves, to also just say, hey, be accountable. That's what I'm talking about. Everything that you do is based off the decisions that you make. That's what shapes your life. Okay, then for office, I'm down. Be properly informed if you're going to make a decision to own a firearm. Love it. 
Understand the regulations surrounding owning a firearm and handling a firearm. This woman is my hero. Everything that she's touting, everything that she is saying is exactly what we believe in the Second Amendment world. Like I said, if you are new to this world and you feel a little uncomfortable and you don't know where you fit in, get in here. You will find a place on this channel because this is the stuff that we celebrate. One more thing, different woman. This is also really strong. This is Amber. You know, there's the famous saying that knowledge is power. This particular power and harnessing this power could save your life. Also well said. Now, the reason that I'm bringing this article to you is because these women get it. They're part of a growing community across the nation. A lot of people who fit in these same voter blocks, these same demographics, are asking me offline when they see me in different environments. And it's not at all the questions that you'd think. It's always, how do I go about this? What do I do this? Because the need is there. We're at the beginning of an awakening, and these women are a really good starting point because they are showing what's happening nationwide. And that's why I want to bring it to you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you tomorrow morning on The Bullet Points. I'm Braden. See you later.